and blessings. How's everybody doing? I'm Cam Reed, and this is my beautiful wife, Ashley Reed. And we are a part of the Remnant. We're a small group with large advice to help you with your walk with Christ. We're here today to tell you that God gives you gifts. He is the ultimate gift giver. See, I thought Santa Claus was the ultimate gift mm-hmm. giver. Nope. It's, it's Christ. It's Christ. It's the Holy Spirit. It's God. Yes. Together, they want to give you gifts, and they have given you gifts. Yes. So if you want to learn more about gifts, what those gifts are, who they come from, keep watching because we are going to go all in on that topic today. Since you were born, you have been molded for a reason. You have been birthed for a reason. You are here. If you didn't die in your sleep and you're here watching this video, you are here for a reason. So I want to give you guys a present today. Let's talk about presents I like today. Presents. I like presents too. <laughs> Who doesn't like presents? My birthday coming up. I can't wait to get all kind of presents. So, you know, when you get presents, what do you do with your present? Do you open it? Or do you just mm. let it sit on the shelf? You know, do you... That's a word. Do you do you open your present and utilize what the gift was? If if I needed a new watch and my wife here buys me a watch and I sit it on the shelf because I don't want anything to happen to it, I, I'm, I'm so th- I'm thankful for it, but I don't show her that I'm thankful for it. I kind of just leave it on the shelf. Is it really getting utilized? Am I showing that I'm appreciative of what she picked out for me, what she personally gave to me for a reason no i'm not i'm i'm putting it on the shelf and letting it collect dust let's get to the nitty-gritty everybody on the face of the earth has a purpose god has a purpose for their life god has a plan for their life people don't know why they're here people get confused about what their purpose is People die and don't know who they are. Well, we want to let you guys know that your DNA and who you are and your purpose are all intertwined in who Christ is and who God says you are. When you become a Christian, your purpose, your your essence, everything that is you, your DNA is no longer of the world. It's who Christ says you are. Your gifts that you have come from the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. You get gifts from all three. Isn't that, that's a wonderful thing. That is, that's amazing to me that the Holy Trinity, all three of them care enough about us to bestow gifts on us. In order for us to find out about our gifts, we have to dive into scripture. The scripture we're gonna first look at comes from Romans, the 12th chapter, verses six through eight. So I hope you guys got your Bibles because we're gonna get into it. Romans chapter 12, verse 6 says, Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. If prophecy, let us prophesy in proportion to our faith. Or ministry, let us use it in our ministering. He who teaches in teaching, he who exhorts in exhortation, he who gives with liberality, he who leads with diligence, he who shows mercy with cheerfulness. Let's talk about the gifts of the, that come from the Holy Spirit. So what we're going to do is go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 8 through 10, and then verse 28. 
For to one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same spirit, to another faith by the same spirit, to another gifts of healing by the same spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But one and the same, Spirit works all these things, distributing them to each one individually as he wills. And then we're going to go to verse Amen. 28 that says, And God has appointed these in the church, first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, administrations, varieties of tongues. Those are the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. For the equipping of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. With these gifts, we understand that they're for the church. They're to edify the believers. They're to pour into the church. They're to pour into other people that you come across. These are what the gifts are for. They're to keep you confident because you are somebody. You you learn who these gifts are in you. You learn about these gifts that are in you. So you're confident. You know that you have a purpose through what Christ says you have, through what God says you have. And then you're able to talk to others about what their purpose is and and encourage others and, and build them up. Amen. All right, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into each of those gifts and who they come from and give a little background as to why we have them. So we have gifts that come from the father. These gifts come naturally to us. We're born with them. Like we can do them in our sleep without even thinking about it. They just flow out of us because it's who we are. Those gifts come directly from the Father. Um, they're just natural abilities and they're a part of our purpose. So all of these gifts, whether they come from the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit, they're all working together to guide us and push us in the direction of our purpose. And in fact, if you tune into what your gifts are, Chances are that that's where your purpose is. That's what you're supposed to be doing. And you're supposed to be doing it within the kingdom. So the gifts that come from the Father are administration, teaching, exhortation, giving, leadership, and mercy. So those are all of the gifts that come from the Father. The gifts that come from the Holy Spirit, those are available to all who accept Christ. So once we accept Christ, once we're officially believers, we now have access to the gifts that come from the Holy Spirit, okay? And those gifts include wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, The working of miracles, prophecy, hospitality, speaking in tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues, which is key. Uh, discerning of spirits. 
helps and service. As believers, we have instant access. All we have to do to receive those gifts from the Holy Spirit is to be willing vessels, to be uh, for our hearts to be open for the Holy Spirit to use us, and He can impart any of those gifts within any of us according to the will of God. And then, lastly, the gifts that we receive from Christ are evangelist. Pastor, teacher, and missionary. So those are the gifts that we receive again from Christ himself. And we receive those gifts for, as Cam already said, the equipping of the body. And those gifts equip saints for ministry. So they equip you for your office. They equip you for your work, for your mission, for your purpose that God has for your life. The beauty of your gifts is you get to discover what God has you here for and what he has you assigned to do. We're all on assignment here. And the quicker that we read, the quicker that we get, we, we learn what those gifts are, we can get on assignment for the kingdom of God. So our challenge for you is to die empty. Die empty. What? I know that probably sounds super crazy, but let me explain. Dying empty means that you have left this earth having utilized every single gift that God has placed in you, having fulfilled every single assignment that God has placed and has called on your life that no one else can do but you because it's specific and it's tailor-made and custom designed for you. So we are challenging you all to die empty. Utilize those gifts, utilize those talents, use them to the fullest and use them up in, in their entirety till there's no more left in you. Now I think you guys are wondering, sounds good, sounds great, but how do we get there? How do we do that? How do we find out what our gifts are? Uno, rule number one, find a good church home. You need to find a good church that is teaching sound biblical principle. Step number two, number two, okay? Take a gift assessment. I am telling you from personal experience that once you take a gift assessment, once you understand what your giftings are, it will blow your mind. Like, seriously. It will open up a whole new perspective into who you are, why you think the way you think, why you operate the way you operate. It'll totally provide a whole new level of clarity to you and who you are as a person. Definitely, definitely, definitely take that gift assessment. So now you feeling pumped up because you know what your gifts are. You patting and banging on your chest like you LeBron in the fourth <laughs> quarter and you just scored the winning basket. So now, number three, you need to find a ministry in your church that tailored, that is tailored to your gifts, that can incorporate your gift sets. You need to you need to find out where those newly found gifts that you have fit into the body of Christ. Yes, because as we've already learned, these gifts are for the equipping of the body of Christ. So if you're not using it within the body, chances are you're not going to fulfill that purpose the way God quite intended for you to. So definitely, definitely, definitely crucial step, find that ministry. There's a whole bunch of people that are using their gifts for evil and not good. So you want to make sure that True. you're using those gifts to edify the body, to build up the kingdom of God, and to go forth and learn what your purpose is. Step, step number, number four. four. Okay, number four is pray, pray, Prezze. and pray some more. Okay? Man, we should have run, man. <laughs> Pray for God's direction. 
So if you ever find yourself in a situation where there may not be a ministry available in your church home that your gift can be utilized in, we want to encourage you to pray, seek God, because here's the thing. He's not going to give you these gifts for them not to be utilized in some way, shape, or form. So pray, seek the face of God, seek his guidance on where you should be using the gifts, seek his guidance on how you should be using the gifts, seek his guidance on the attitude that you should have as it pertains to the particular gift set that you have so that you can be successful in your quest. Tip, Tip number, number five. five. <laughs> Study to show thyself approved. Study, study, study. You need to study the biblical context of the gifts that you have. When you find out what your gifts are, you want to make sure that you're using them right. You want to look at the different scriptures and the different people in the Bible that operated in the gifting that you have. So that's very important. The only way that you are going to know what your gifts are and fully develop them and use them in their full potential is reading the word of God letting the Holy Spirit build you up in your gifting. Let him give you revelation about your gifts and what he wants to use them for. Amen. Amen. Thank you for tuning in with us. Let's close out in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word that has gone forth, Father God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that has directed our path, that has directed our every word. As we've gone forth with the recording of this message, Father God, we just ask that this word penetrate the hearts, the minds, the souls, and the spirit of all who listen, Father God. Not some, Lord God, but all who come in contact with this word, Father God. We know, Lord, that you have a purpose and you have a plan for their lives, Father God. And so we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would begin to minister, oh God, to their spirit, Lord God minister to their heart, Father God, minister to their minds, O oh Lord, what it is that your plan and your will and your purpose is for their life, Father God, because you haven't put us here to wander the earth lost and confused, Father God, but you've placed us here, Lord God, with a blueprint, Father God, to you, Lord God, with a blueprint, Lord God, to discover what it is that our purpose is, to discover what it is that you would have us to do, O oh Lord. And so I just pray, Lord God, that you would begin to enlighten their minds, O oh God, that you would begin to speak to their hearts, Lord God, whisper your plans for their lives to their spirit, Lord God. And I pray that you would give them the courage and the boldness to go forth in those plans, in the purpose that you've called all of them to. And I pray that you would strengthen them and continue to walk with them and guide them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, like we said before, thank you for tuning in. If you like what you see in the past or if you like what you've seen in this post, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, any comments, concerns that you may have, please leave them at the bottom of the screen. Blessings. Peace. So finding out what my gifting was was a really eye-opening experience for me. Uh, it put a lot of things into perspective as to why um, some things in my life came naturally to me. Um, one of my number one giftings, as far as my dominant giftings are concerned, is leadership. Um, finding that out, it kind of put things into perspective for me. Um, I have never shied away from being a leader. Um, there were times where I thought that some people may have been more qualified or um, I wanted to be, you know, maybe second in command or, you know, kind of play follow the leader. But the funny thing about gifting and the things that God gives you is that you're not the only one that can see them. Um, other people can see those too. And so um, when that happens, a lot of times they will propel you or God will allow people to push you forward and push you into that um, that calling, that, that gifting that you have. That way you can operate in that gifting that you have. Um, it was It's not always comfortable. It's not always fun, but it is um, necessary. It is extremely necessary because in order for you to uh, be the asset to the body that God has called you to be, um, you have to operate in the gifts that he's given you. And so it's been a real learning experience for me. Um, being um, open and uh, ready to, you know, be in that kind of role should that uh, occasion arise. Secondly, one of my other dominant gifts would be wisdom. And 
I don't feel that you can be an effective leader without um, having some wisdom, some God-given wisdom um, to couple with that gifting. So I'm thankful that God allowed me to have both because <laughs> Lord knows I would need it. Um, he knew what he was doing. Keep in mind that when you are operating your gifts, a lot of times they are supported by other gifts. So you may have a dominant and then the supportive may um, help with whatever it is the Holy Spirit is using you to do. So my first one is the office of a prophet, which is completely different from the gift of prophecy. So the gift of prophecy is um, one that's from the Holy Spirit. Um, you receive that the moment you give your life to the Lord. Uh, it's used to edify the body or um, a specific person. Um, he also, the Holy Spirit uses you to encourage or basically edify a person. So an example of that would be uh, you could be in the mall and you're walking around and then you hear a voice, the Holy Spirit telling you, walk up to this person and tell them this. So your confirmation that you really are hearing <laughs> is the person if he will say, oh, I was just praying and asking the Lord about this, or I've been waiting for an answer. And so you would have given whatever type of encouragement that that person needed. So one of my dominant gifts is wisdom, which can also be teamed with um, teaching. And before I really begin to walk with Christ and search out his word and gain understanding, I did not know that this was a gifting. Um, if you don't know, the gift of wisdom or teaching is like, it's a spiritual insight that you are given when you are speaking on a certain subject or when you are speaking to someone and you are given spiritual clarity and insight that you would not have in the natural so like you can be speaking on something that you have no base knowledge of and it will just flow but it flows in a way to where the person that you're speaking to or the people that you're speaking to have clear understanding after you've spoken it i did not know this was a, a spiritual gift i thought it was just uh knowledge about my years i thought i was just a little bit more insightful than my peer groups um i was attributing it just as something intellectual um and then i had the privilege of taking a gift assessment test at my church and that is when i got the education about our gifts and it just the explanation i was giving made sense and all of my questions about it were answered and so um yeah since then i've had a really good opportunity to grow in this gift and further this gift and even in doing this video series i've had the opportunity to grow more in this gift and see this gift firsthand in my life so i'm thankful for the gift and for god giving me the privilege to have this gift and showing me how to use it throughout my life for his glory my other two giftings that are dominant would be service and helps um, it made a lot of sense to me because i can never just sit by and watch uh, I've never been a watcher. I'm a doer. I, I enjoy doing. I, I enjoy being a servant. I love serving people. I love serving my community. I love serving at my church and for the body of Christ. And so um, it's a desire. It's never something that somebody, no one ever had to teach me how to serve or help. No one ever had to teach me how to uh, get up and, and ask somebody if they need help or um, or do the, uh, the the little things, you know, the, the setup, the breakdown, the um, just the... the uh, necessary things behind the scenes that make uh, all things work together so um find out what my giftings was it really just put a lot of things into perspective what was mind-blowing about find out what my giftings was was the simple fact that i've always i've already been operating in my giftings before i ever knew what they were i was already operating in them which means that that god gave me those from birth um, he gave me those. He instilled those in me. There wasn't something that nobody had to coach or or or, uh, or give me an instruction manual on how to do. It was just a natural um, a fit for me. 
Um, and it was, that's, that's crazy to me that God would entrust me with gifts before he ever even, uh, before I ever even, uh, was, <laughs> uh, aware of what they were. Um, and so now being aware of what they were or what they are, um, the, I'm charged with the task of, um, using those giftings to further the body of Christ. And I look forward, I look forward to it.